Rebecca Dawson and thanks for joining me for a few moments to reflect upon the August message from the Masters, you have arrived. So August has arrived and if you're anything like me, July was a really frustrating and interesting month at the same time because all of the great and powerful shifts that we were feeling uh, energetically, esoterically, electromagnetically, we weren't necessarily seeing in our external experience but boy were we feeling it within. So a lot of the pent up frustration and the sense of stagnation that we were feeling was really because all of this great energy that was starting to arise within us, it was very, very difficult to start to express that in an external way. For many of us, we couldn't see the doorways opening, we couldn't find the steps to move next. There didn't just seem to be any openings for us to be able to express this rising of energy within. And so it truly was a month for being in that internal space and actually being with the body. Now, if you're like me and a lot of my loved ones and friends and many people that have been contacting me from around the world, there has been a lot of physical disruption going on. And there's nothing quite like physical discomfort or illness or dis-ease to bring our attention and our focus back exactly to where we are. And I do believe that consciousness is very, very clever. Source energy is very clever in designing this because this is the time where it's happening where you are. And there's nothing quite like a sense of physical discomfort to bring your attention back to your physical body. Because remember, our physical body is where we are in this reality. So much of spiritual concept in 3D and in the, the previous paradigm that we were existing in was really about how to transcend the body, how we can actually move beyond it and beyond the containment and limitation of it. And yet here we are in 5D and moving into multidimensionality and now it's about converging all of the aspects of ourselves here into this focal point of presence because that's when we really start to master our experience and become the creators in our lives. So there's been a lot of discomfort around heart and head. A number of people that I know have had either migraine issues, heart issues, there's been reports of suspected stroke, a lot of things going on that's all about the coherence between the heart and the brain and the way in which that operates. So a lot of minor adjustments within the nervous system are happening for people. There's also a lot of discomfort in the legs and the feet and aching in the bones and the muscles in the lower part of the body. And again, there's never been a time on this planet where there's been so much consciousness converging into the physical experience. So of course the body is having to adjust. <laughs> So as we move into August, what is August about for us? Well, we've heard from the message from the Masters that it is indeed a time to truly be present, be with our bodies. It doesn't mean to say that it's going to be another month of stagnation, however. We are going to be seeing in the third week of August that these doorways and new pathways really become quite clear for us. And the invitation is there now to step forward now that we've had six or seven weeks to truly be in the physical experience. But we also know that within this reality, in order to see what is possible, in order to know what those pathways are, what those new experiences and doorways are for you, is to actually move deeply into the presence and then they appear. Because in essence, and I love the way this is expressed in this month's message, the essence of the new reality and the new earth is not sitting beyond us. And indeed, we're not transforming along a linear timeline into it. The shift has actually already been made. There was a huge, huge experience in a change of being and a change of reality and perception in October 2018 and a lot of people had a lot of disruption in October 2018 because this was the time where the shift actually occurred and so now we're waking up within it 
and to wake up within it. It's not about going and trying to move into it, that somehow it's ahead of you and there's steps that you need to take and there's things that you need to plan for or try to move towards. This is not about ascending into the new reality. The shift has occurred. This is about waking up within it. So if we're looking at things that way, we need to be clear that the only way we can wake up within it is to be completely present. And that happens for us through the physical experience. It's very, very difficult to ascertain anything in an altered state of experience at this time. So some people who are used to having very intuitive and psychic abilities prior to October 2018 and now finding that it's a little bit elusive for them to do it in the way they used to do, principally by moving into an altered state of experience to be able to sense and know things. Now it's happening through the physical body. So all the discomfort that's happening in your body is bringing your attention back to here because when you're completely present with where you are, that's when the new earth reality appears for you. And indeed, you can actually become more coherent with your environment. You can see more. Your sensorial capacity really begins to expand and actually allow you to see what is actually here. So this is about the great reveal, the great appearance of that which is already here. How is it that we can bring ourselves into agreement with it? Agreement is going to require your physical presence. So those of you who are trying to change your physical experience at the moment, those of you who are trying to attend to your physical experience, Perhaps it's useful for you to see it as a framework of getting to become very focused on the physical body, not seeing it as a problem that needs to be solved, something that needs to be conquered or controlled, but something that you're deeply in communion with. Because when you bring all of your attention and your focus, all of your capacity, all of your attention back to this, that's when the experience opens up for you. So August is a time of wonderful new openings. First two weeks, still some physical adjustment. First two weeks, still some aches and pains, perhaps still some discomfort in the head and the heart for you. But indeed, it's about being with yourself, being with your body so that you can actually move into the fullness of your capacity and you can begin to see. So there are my thoughts and my reflections on this month's uh, message from the Masters, You Have Arrived. Indeed, it's not a month for striving. It's a month for unexpected new appearances, unexpected new opportunities that are arriving for you if you are willing to be present enough within your own physical discomfort. So as for me, I have been sitting in a state of expectancy uh, in the last six weeks or so. I have no idea what's ahead for me for the rest of this year. Indeed, it's the first time I haven't planned, uh, scheduled uh, any tours or trips for the second half of the year. So I am also interested to see what openings, opportunities and potentials are revealed in August. I wish you a beautiful month. Thanks so much for joining me and I look forward to speaking with you again soon.